Selam millet. Ben Semih Sam. <gülüyor> LA Noir. Dördüncü bölümündeyiz. Ve yine bir flashback'te askerlik kanunumuzu hatırlıyoruz şu anda. Bir önceki bölüm Meksikalı bir araba hırsızını daha doğrusu araba tekerleği hırsızı. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. Or is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day field oh, drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Kelso biraz gaddar, biraz manyak, biraz dominant ve benzeri. Türkiye'de yapsa kötü ya. Kurkaç, bak sen. Central Police Station. Alright gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site, the coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the jail is ahead. Hey. I gave his wife a tap. He said all fair in love and war. This is 1947, not 1927. Of course, a girl can act fella out. That bum took a swipe. I don't want to be rude, but I ain't got time for talking. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How you do that? I'll give him something better. Rain coffee. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Thick as a white male, name of Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, name of Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Phelps? I ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Yep, there's a car. can notify next of kin. Uh, 
Kaç dolar? Zar. Person has life insurance. On altı bin euro mu? Şey dolar mı? Biraz komplo gibi geldi. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Find anything interesting? Body traveled a good 20 feet. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to break before the impact. She's all yours, Detective. Hello, Miss Perry. Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well. I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. What? This is Cutter. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices, a man and a woman. That's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. 
Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So what is he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No, he came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Gülüyor musun? Bellisin. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. Varın sahibinin adresini isteyeceğiz galiba. Putting you through now. 
Bağla güzelim, bağla. Phelps badge 1247. 247. How I need to run a partial license plate 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Hey, Sam, what's up? Wrinkled was not one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. Şu adamı da artık kapattın. Atlı yitip de baktı, ben de bak. Lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in a hit and run, the purpose is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be. Sabaha kadar bekledik mi? Nereye gidiyor? Hayırdır kardeş? That's the son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Sheldon. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Don't let that asshole get away. Galiba bir adam ezdi. Slaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. 
There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Halledin ya. Şey dedi ben mi halledeceğim anasını satayım. Tamam ben de sen. Yes. Hello. Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, detective. He was hit by a car. Now he's dead. More is there to tell. Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Beg I... Beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one bias again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now.
would have loved to push him under a car many a time. But not this time. <gülüyor> you were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crack games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Pattison autopsy. Thank you. This is going to help us. Fuck you. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. Where the victim? Ya bir sus ben polisim. Türk polisiyim ben. Çarparım. Kafama göre takılırım. Kimse de bir şey diyemem. My husband the Open your eyes. Gözlerim açık zaten senin ya. Buradan aşağı inebilir miyiz? Get 
out. This isn't a tank, Phelps. Cop him up. Thanks for your if trouble. Yeah, I'll lock it. Goddamn Bruins are having a season from hell. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up? I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. But the trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. Well, we need to hit raise one more time and trial for evidence. Where is the check bar? Uh, generally speaking... Look, I'm not here. I'm not here. But that's passive, guys. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? Yeah. You can drive. That's the best. So there was some truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all. He didn't stop, but he didn't kill Patterson either. I'm no betting man, but I know where I'd put all my chips. The grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on. Now all we need is a murder weapon. Rain kafesi, at kafası. Lester could be a heel. We just wanted to check the crime scene over one more time. That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right, step by step, check every inch of ground. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Others will confirm this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Leroy, 
Sabo. You're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. It's too late, Sabo. Stop, or I will shoot! Herkes bir karı muhabbet ya. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Beni yükselsene. Narkotiğe falan alsana be. Abi soru kaçırdık doğru. 2000 dolar. Birinci şeyimiz bitti. <gülüyor> Bu bölümde galiba biraz iki dava yapacağız. Çünkü yavaş yavaş alışıyoruz. A slip of tongue. B-Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Ya ne oluyor ya? We're on it, Captain. Derin bakalım. I want to make I swear the more bent cars we bring, the longer the hot sheet gets. Böyle bekar mı gideceğiz diye. Keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe you. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn You evidence. drive. I need to go over the case notes. Calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? So Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having been dead. Strewn all over the front pages. Durum, just clap. Yeah, motherfucker. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Sen süreydi. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on.
All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets on him, Phelps. I'll call it in. Oh, car 11K to KGPL. Car Suspect in custody requires transport back. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Doğru, belgesi var adam. From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. You expect us to believe you. Is that so much to ask? Hey. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And Doğru. he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? Oh, we need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Tabii ya. Now what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Babamın kim olduğunu biliyor musun? Kimse kim lan? Pezevenk. The paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh-huh. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than... Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. Yeah, you know, she's created so far, yeah. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? Oh, ha. I knew you were. Yapay zeka kafa git. Evet. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely... Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. <laughs> That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Uh, 
That's a joke, too, son. Helps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Boa. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas, shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. What a bottom of Allah. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Messages, please. James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks, ma'am.
Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Yine sorguya çekelim. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. I think the Vice Boys get any on the side. Crummy bastard. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. I survived the war for this. Ah. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. One nice thing about ego tips, they don't talk about other people. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Archer, so... What about... Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. You're lying. You deliver the cars here in L.A. <laughs> You're going to need more than a guest to pin that one on me. I've tried to be helpful, and look how I get treated. I'm not sure I like you. You had a chance to cooperate, Belasco. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvall. Gordon Lightvall. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. 
less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. I don't care. I don't go into living things. Push it down with. Ya bir basmıyoruz, bir basmıyoruz. Bu nasıl? Onları bu buna benziyor. Arkadan. It'll only take a little while longer, madam. It's quite a lot of money. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. So because you just don't like me, you can call me a liar. You decided to make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. You know the way. You can drive. So where do you want to go? <clears throat> Friendly girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh... I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. So does Nothing like wrong that? with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at red. You know, I might have to lift that go on, go soon in the interest of maintaining like the free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey.
And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Gelme, gelme. I'm stumped. Ideas? We need to talk to the guy in charge. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto <coughs> theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightval. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightval. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Go bug someone else, huh? You can drive. 
Do we know where we're going? Kullanmıyorum. Kafam rahat. Hatta siz bunu izlerken ben de Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. You think so? Let's go, it's the cops. Uh, Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. I'm gonna put holes in you, assholes. Throw out the guns. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. I got you. Can I get some cover here for the love of God? Stay down. Pretty brave, Fred. I've got you, Phelps. Find some cover. Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. If I can't put one right between your arms, stay in cover. I need cover. Try the door at the end. I heard something. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Key Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak.
Ben burada. Slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. For a car thief, he plunges big at the track. Every dime he gets, he can't help himself. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. <clears throat> I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. Ulan bütün şeyde bir aksiyon yok. Bir switch almaya gidiyoruz. Aksiyon oluyor ya. Bizim araba nerede? Şacı. So what's going on over there? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? What a mess. Ugh. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Hızlı kullan şunu, hızlı kullan. All of them. Bu ne ya? Böyle aron kumaları ya. Kept this racket going. Complacency. Ne sekiz? Hızlı geçiyor bazıları. doğru. Ha bit. Bu ne ya? Sen polissin ya. Trafik buralarına hangi polis uyuyor? Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Ah, sen mi kullan? Sorry. Yeah, sen. You're behind the wheel. All right. Where to? Selamun Aleyküm. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. 
Mesela kumar borcun Pelesin bir kere. Your money and influence will be worthless in San Quentin. If you don't go crazy in the first couple of months, then you'll probably get knifed in the chow line. Is that what you want? Save it for the suckers, detective. You'll get nothing from me. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Now where shall I start? With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free? Or with a female suspect who I am reliably told slipped the leash with embarrassing ease? You just lost the chance to crack one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. How do you think that makes me look? The chief has my balls in a frying pan. Now get out. Armalan milletin içinde. And fill some charge Kuk. sheets. Misdemeanors if you have. Oğlum bana çok bağırıyorlar. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case. Tahtanı sikerim seni. Neyse arkadaşlar bunu yapamadık. Az hasarla olayı çözdük. O yüzden kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşça kalın.